Hi everybody, this is a short video on preparing nanostructured fluids, uh, in this case a swan micelle solution. Ideally what you want to do is use the modular cleaning program, go through the regular testing protocol, find what materials are safe to use on your surface, and then prepare your aqueous solution the way you normally would. In this case I'm using bisine and sodium hydroxide at a pH of 8.5. Uh, when I'm making microemulsions or swollen micelle solutions, I generally want to test four or five of those uh, at the same time. I don't want to make up separate aqueous components. So the aqueous component is constant throughout. What does change are the solvent amounts, solvent type, and surfactant amounts. So what I'm doing is just taking that aqueous component and putting it into a jar, and then I can prepare each separate solution in each separate jar. So here I've added the EcoSurf EH6, which is my surfactant, and then I'm adding my propylene carbonate, which is the solvent. It's a hydrogen bond accepting solvent, and I'm going to add it dropwise over a period of several minutes. Uh, it's about one drop per second or something like that. And I watch the solution as I do it uh, to see if it starts to get cloudy. So I've added uh, at this point a little bit over 17% because I'm going to demonstrate the cloud point. So here I'm adding slightly more and going up to about uh, 18 or 19 percent propylene carbonate and you can see that the solution is becoming opaque. This is the solution clouding. And then it gets to a, a certain point where it is at its cloud point. And that is where the solution is totally opaque. You can no longer see the stir bar. And at this point uh, the, the solution uh, is not usable. You actually have to bring it back a little bit. So there, don't worry if you get to the cloud point because you can always bring the solution back. And you do that by, in this case, just adding a little bit of water. Here I'm adding maybe 1.2 milliliters or so of water. And you can see as soon as I do that, the solution goes right back to being transparent because what you're doing is reducing the concentration of propylene carbonate in the solution. And it's that interaction between the propylene carbonate and surfactant that causes that clouding. So by adding that water, you can bring it right back to translucency. So here you have uh, good sized uh, micelles. The solution is totally translucent and it's ready to be used for dewetting a polymer film.